Sometimes when you open a document, you get a message that fonts are missing. I'm going to open a document here that I prepared for this uh, tutorial called Missing Fonts. And we see a message saying that two fonts are missing. We could immediately fix it if we knew what we were doing by clicking on Find Font and go to it. Uh, let's not do that yet. We can also go to Type Find Font and get to the same place. First, how do fonts get to be missing? The document may have been created on another computer that has different font files. They may have similar names but be coded differently so they're actually different files and InDesign doesn't know that you intended to use a font file with a slightly different name because it looks the same. It, you know, it's not that smart. Uh, very common with documents that are created on a different operating system fonts may have been removed or disabled after the document was created. If you had 5,000 active fonts on your computer and complained to your IT department that your computer was running in geologic time rather than human time, they might fix the problem by coming in and removing most of your fonts. A reasonable thing to do since you shouldn't have had that many installed probably. But now you've used some of the fonts they removed and your documents are showing missing font messages. Font files can become corrupted. Uh, so that InDesign is no longer able to use them. It may also cause InDesign to crash on launch if font preview is turned on. Text may have been imported from another file with fonts that were not available that are not available on this computer. That's actually how I created the file we're going to look at. When a document is exported to an image format from a program such as Photoshop or Illustrator where fonts can be included in the document and then move to another computer where the fonts are not available and placed into an InDesign document. Then InDesign will give uh, font error messages under certain circumstances. The solution for that kind of situation is of course either to install the correct font files on the computer if that can be done. If it can't be done then ask the designer who creates the image file to convert the fonts that he's using to outlines. Then they will be vector graphic objects in the image file rather than fonts. And they will look the same. They will not be editable, but they will also not throw missing font messages or cause problems when you try to print them. Why is this important that the fonts are missing? Several reasons. One, if you send a print job to a print shop and the document you send has missing fonts, they may refuse to print it because when they print it, you may decide it doesn't look right or your boss may decide it doesn't look right and you refuse to pay for it. Uh, another example, if you export a document to PDF from InDesign, and put it on the web or send it to people and it has missing fonts in it. When those people open the document, if they don't happen to have those fonts installed, then their computer will more or less randomly substitute other fonts for the missing ones and the appearance of the document will be unpredictable. Uh, generally, you don't want unpredictable under those circumstances. So, how to fix it? Go to Find Font, either when you open the document or under Type Find Font, and select the missing font. This is ITC Garamond Bold Italic, and since I have Adobe Garamond Pro installed on here, I'm going to use it, and it has a bold italic option, so I'm going to use that. I click Change All, and it changes all the instances of ITC Garamond to Adobe Garamond Pro. For Viner Hand ITC, I don't know what it looks like. So I'm just going to change it to something randomly. If the appearance 
of this text was important, I should do a Google search on Viner Hand ITC, find out what it looks like on the web, and then pick a font on my computer that has a similar appearance. In this case, we're not going to bother with that. Click Change All, and it's changed. Uh, click Done, and now the pre-flight icon down here shows no further errors. Uh, once you've resolved the missing font errors, save your document, and uh, that's it. So that's all for today. Thank you for coming.